heterosexual female with some pain on, on the dorsal aspect of the right wrist, actually more ulnar, kind of over the extensor carpio naris tendon. She's in pain with resisted extension of her wrist. Um, really no acute injury. X-ray apparently didn't show much. Um, so we're just going to look for inflammation in the fourth, I guess, fifth and sixth compartment. Uh, right side of the screen is radial. This is our first clip. You can see the radius and the needle. So here we're basically in the forearm musculature. We can see the extensor tendons beginning to form, but there's still a fair amount of muscle around the tendons. So this is our home base view. We can appreciate Lister's tubercle. Just ulnar to that is the extensor pollicis longus tendon. And then you can essentially from that point figure out which compartment you're looking at. You can also appreciate the extensor retinaculum above the extensor tendon. Here's the extensor carpial naris tendon beginning to form. It looks like just a thin sliver within the muscle at this point, just above the ulna. Now we can see the tendon starting to form above the ulna. There's a little concavity within the surface of the ulna as well, where you see the extensor carpial naris tendon. Also, you can appreciate a tiny sliver of fluid around the extensor carpial naris at this point, and there can typically be a cleft within the extensor carpial naris tendon, and that is essentially a normal variant. Here you can appreciate moderate amount of tenosynovitis around the extensor carpial naris tendon. You can also appreciate that cleft within the tendon as well. Here we're going a little bit distal, it appears. So here I am seeing some fluid around the extensor carpial naris, looks like. Um, clip. Here you can see extensor digiti mimini as well, and there's a little bit of tenosynovitis around that tendon as well. Yes. Now we're looking at the extensor carpial naris tendon in a sagittal plane. You can also appreciate the triquetrum as well. Um, here we're going towards Yoli. the mid wrist where you can appreciate the capitate lunate and the distal radius. And here we're essentially at one of the extensor digitorum tendons of, of the mid wrist. <laughs> here again, you can appreciate that meniscal homolog and a little bit of tenosynovitis <laughs> over that extensor carpial naris tendon just around the ulna. Yeah. You can also see the triquetrum. This is where she's tender. I mean, you know, it's hard to say, but she's a little thickening. Again, here you can appreciate some mild to moderate tenosynovitis around the extensor carpial naris tendon. Um, the tendon, I think, short axis showed a little bit of inflammation or tenosynovitis around that tendon.